My name is Federica Di Nicola Antonio. This video is a learning module on the topic of liquid biopsy. Solid cancers release circulating tumor cells, microvesicles such as exosomes, and cell-free circulating tumor DNA, CTDNA, in the bloodstream. The term liquid biopsy has been adopted for all the analysis of all these circulating biomarkers. The majority of circulating tumor DNA is derived from apoptotic and necrotic tumor cells that release their fragmented DNA into the circulation. Cell-free DNA is also released by dying or malignant host cells as a consequence of physiological tissue turnover or inflammatory processes. And this normal cell-free DNA dilutes the circulating DNA of tumor origin in cancer patients. Technologies to isolate and analyze liquid biopsy samples are rapidly evolving. Cell-free circulating tumor DNA is extracted from plasma and is then analyzed by digital PCR-based techniques and or next-generation sequencing platforms to reach an adequate sensitivity. Surface-based markers or microfluidic devices are employed for separating circulating tumor cells. Following counting, circulating tumor cells can also be used for assessing DNA, RNA, or protein-based markers, or even for drug sensitivity testing. Exosomes are isolated through ultracentrifugation and or marker-based antibody capture, after which RNA molecules are extracted and then analyzed. Liquid biopsy can be applied at different stages of clinical management. Early detection could be feasible for specific malignancies. Genotyping of liquid biopsy samples can inform about the tumor molecular profile. Liquid biopsy samples can indicate the presence of minimal residual disease. Analysis of serial liquid biopsy samples through treatment can help tumor burden monitoring. And finally, liquid biopsy could be used to detect the emergence of molecular alterations responsible for acquired drug resistance. Several clinical studies are underway to test or validate liquid biopsy-based biomarkers. For instance, detection of Epstein-Barr viral DNA in plasma cell-free DNA is being investigated for early detection of nasopharyngeal carcinoma in 20,000 individuals. A prospective study has recently validated liquid biopsy for detecting specific EGFR and RAS mutations in circulating cell-free DNA of non-small cell lung cancer patients. This study has shown that liquid biopsy could potentially replace more invasive tissue biopsies to detect clinically relevant tumor genotypes. Circulating tumor cells have already been validated as a prognostic biomarker in several solid tumors. Ongoing studies are assessing the clinical utility of circulating tumor cells to guide treatment-related decision in breast cancer patients. In addition to plasma, other body fluids, such as urine, drainages, cerebrospinal fluid, or saliva, could represent alternative sources of cell-free tumor-derived DNA. The isolation of nucleic acids from exosomes or platelets in cancer patients could also provide future opportunities for liquid biopsy-based cancer biomarkers. And finally, in order to implement liquid biopsy in clinical practice, each assay should demonstrate analytical and clinical validity, as well as clinical utility. This will require designing prospective, statistically empowered clinical trials in specific clinical settings.